What's one piece of advice you wish you'd known when you were my age? Um, I definitely think I could tell myself to be more confident. It's not so much advice, but just not care what people think so much. Um, I was always so worried about what people thought, what you were wearing, what your hair and things like that. And now you realise when you get older, it's just not, it doesn't yeah. matter, it doesn't matter. Um, surely there must be some days that you don't want to vlog, like especially when you're doing like Vlogtober and stuff, there must be a lot of pressure. Yes. Is what happens <laughs> if you don't want to vlog one day? Do you um, just... It's really hard and I think that's why I don't do vlogging every day because I think some days, yeah, you don't want to vlog. Yeah. If, like if I'm having a particularly hard day and I really, really just think I'm either not doing anything or if some, you know, you're doing something personal like going yeah. to a wedding, then you can't vlog at their wedding. It's, you know, um, I usually do like a tag video or something to kind of fill yeah. it in. Um, but yeah, some days you just don't want to. But I think it's also a really good motivator for actually being more positive and getting out and doing yeah. stuff, vlogging every day because you have that pressure of like Sunday afternoon, like I can't just vlog that I'm doing nothing. Let's go yeah. and like go to the park or like, you know, go out somewhere or go out for dinner or whatever. So, so which channel takes the most time out of your day, like to upload? My main channel definitely takes the most time. Um, I some videos aren't so bad if I'm doing just kind of talking to camera but things like get ready with me videos yeah they take like all day to do. <laughs> it's not I'm not getting ready for anywhere really yeah. when I'm doing that like I've tried to do them a few times before events and you like have like two hours to film them and I just get really stressed to have to do them like the next day yeah. and just recreate the look and then use the footage <laughs> from yeah so definitely get ready with me take the longest yeah um, also, there are a lot of like trends on YouTube, lots of tags that loads of YouTubers do. Do you prefer to find ones on YouTube or make up your own? Um, I really like making up my own ones. It's quite fun, but there are so many that you're kind yeah. of, sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a new tag. I'm like, oh. Um, but yeah, no, I really like making them as well. Yeah. Um, depends what they are. Some of them are a little bit, they've been around and around and around in terms of yeah. like, the s not the same questions, but similar questions, and you get a bit like, yeah. Oh, not again. But yeah, that's why it's fun making up new ones. And it's a really good way to kind of make YouTube friends with people as well, because you yeah. can tag people and then they can do the video. It's good. Um, so is there a lot of pressure from like companies about sponsorship and stuff? And is there a lot of, do you get nervous about what people are going to say, whether you've been sponsored or not? Um, there's not, definitely not pressures from, com from companies. The only pressure I feel is the, it's almost that I do my subscribers justice, because I don't want to take a, you know, a, a sponsorship deal that isn't going to fit with my content or yeah. isn't something that I love. That's the only pressure really is like merging what people approach me for with, you know, what my subscribers want to see. And the only time that's hard is when companies have like a really direct idea of we want to do this. And most of the time you have to kind of take a step back and be like, well, actually, this is how YouTube yeah. works. Like these are the products I like. So I'm going to like they're the ones that I want to talk about or, you know, it's always a conversation. So. Um, if companies aren't like willing to have that conversation, I usually just be like, it's yeah. okay, you know, thanks very much, but um, it's not going to work out. Sounds like a breakup, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think, you know, you, you kind of know instantly as well if, if you're working with a company, if they have like the right or the same kind of mentality as you and if they're listening and they're the best people to work with because, if, you know, you know what your subscribers like to see and what you love. Yeah. And if you can merge that together, then it's a great way of everything working in the way of it being a job. Yeah. and still being true to who you are and what your subscribers want to see and, you know, talking about products that you genuinely yeah. like. Um, also, there are a lot of moments that you've shared, like your wedding and when you got your puppy. Is that really exciting or is it quite nerve-wracking? It's really exciting, I think. They're the most <laughs> exciting. When I put up, like, the puppy videos, yeah, um, they are always the most exciting ones for me because I'm really excited and I think if you're sh excited to share something, um, it's obviously, you know, if I'm excited about it, it's really exciting to share it, but um, the wedding was, yeah, a lot of people ask me about that. They're like, oh, it's like really personal. Like, yeah. do you not mind like putting your wedding video up? But the reaction I got to it was so amazing. Yeah. It just like, now I even, if I'm ever having like a bad day, I'll just go back and watch it and just read some comments. And, like, everybody was so lovely that it almost makes it even better, especially because yeah. it's such an anti-climax. Like I got married and then went on my honeymoon, it's all amazing, and you get home and you're like, yeah, oh, <laughs> can relive that moment. To do now. Yeah, so you can, you know, having the feedback from everybody and like, you know, really nice messages is just another thing you can go back and read all the messages and kind of 
makes it all kind of come back and it's, yeah. yeah, it was really nice. So you've been doing YouTube for like quite a while now. What are the reactions from your friends and family? Are they all really positive towards it? And Mike as well, does he yeah. react well? <laughs> um, all of my friends and family obviously know about it now, yeah. five years on. But at the beginning it was quite scary, but they actually reacted really, really well. Um, my my mum and Mike were the only people that knew about it at the beginning. And then I told my brother and sister like two weeks in, thinking that they would totally take the mickey out of me. And yeah. they were so nice. They were literally Aww. like, it's amazing, it's so cool. Um, so it's always been really positive. And if there's ever been people who don't get it, um, it takes a while. And they do get it now, because obviously it's my job now. Mm -hmm. But in the beginning, I had a lot, especially guys, that were like, yeah. what are you doing? <laughs> you are filming yourself, putting makeup on, on the internet. <laughs> are you crazy? Um, which, again, like I said, um, earlier in the Q&A, like normally, like in like five years ago, that is not a normal thing to do. Whereas yeah. now people know so much about YouTube and they, yeah. they're so aware of that, like that it exists, that it isn't weird anymore. Um, so now it's more like interest. If I meet new people, there's always that. So what do you do? I'm like, well, <laughs> I make videos on YouTube. Yeah. And then there's that conversation. It usually depends on age as well. If they're young, they're like, oh, cool. If yeah. they're older, they're like, how does that work? <laughs> like, you do, what do you talk about? Because, yeah. yeah. What was your ambition when you were my age? Did you always think about YouTube or was that not the plan at all? YouTube didn't exist. How old are you? 15. OK, yeah, YouTube didn't exist when I was your age. Yeah. I think it was just being born maybe when I was about 16, 17. Yeah. Um, I always wanted to be, I went through a phases of being wanting to be a lawyer. Um, then I quite wanted to be a vet. Um, and then I think when, just before I started uni and like whilst I was at uni, I was working in marketing and events and I was thinking about going into buying, so fashion buying. Okay. So it kind of changed from like, oh, like, wouldn't it be fun to be a lawyer? And then realizing how like, it's actually quite serious being a lawyer. <laughs> um, and then I was like, okay, I'm interested in fashion. You know, maybe I want to work in fashion, buying. And then I got into YouTube and it kind of went that way instead. So. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. <laughs>